Jadi boleh dimatikan dulu semuanya. Just listen to my explanation. Ini audionya dimatikan dulu enggak apa? Ya, nah. Kalau video, videonya mau dihidupkan boleh. Audionya ya. dimatikan. Oke, okay, ya. Yeah. Thank you so much for today's meeting. We will greet first by saying Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke, thank you for all of you who joins today. Oke. Okay. Oh, still there are so many students coming here. Okay, Vega will continue. Okay, we meet again on this semester. Yeah, this is on the fifth semester for you. Ueka taught you, I think, for about two subjects. The first subject is this one, the subject that is about entrepreneurship, leadership, and dawah. And then for the second subject, that is for listening for proficiency tests. Yeah. Okay, yeah, on today's meeting, we talk about the first subject that is about ELD. On ELD subject, Bueka will not fully say in English. Yeah, Bueka will not full say in English. We are going to talk in about 50 in English and 50% in Bahasa. But the first, yeah. Weka will uh, give explanation for a short explanation only on the first meeting. Yeah, on the, on the, on the first meeting here, what about the introduction about the subject? Yeah, jadi mengenai pengenalan mata kuliahnya dulu. And also, yeah, the MOU, the Memorandum of Understanding, are still the same with the past subjects, yeah. Still the same, yeah, with the previous subject, yeah, about 75% meeting, but, yeah, Bueka will not always use the Google meeting for our meeting, because I knew that all of you will, maybe will have so many subjects to do, but how to save your quota yeah how to save your quota without any more meeting Eka will meet only for the first meeting only today yeah today Eka will give you short explanation about entrepreneurship leadership and that what are what are we going to learn yeah for about this subject yeah kita akan belajar apa toh ini yang didekan And then the next meeting, the next meeting for the second, the third, the fourth, until the midterm, yeah, and also after midterm, and then the final, you will watch my materials, yeah, I will put on a sim and then give you information, yeah, about and also the instruction on sim unisula as usual, and then the notification for your email. And then after that, you will watch my YouTube channel for all of my materials, ya. Yeah. Jadi nanti semuanya apa itu menonton video di YouTube-nya Memeka, di channel-nya Memeka, begitu. And the video can be downloaded offline, ya. Yeah. You may present at a time, ya. Yeah. You have to put your attendance, ya, yeah, on the comment of my YouTube. Jadi, at the first time you try to give a comment, I can catch the time. When uh, when will you write the comment on my on my YouTube? Rafi, what are you presenting about? <laughs> okay, nice to nice to meet you, Rafi. Okay, continue. Yeah. So on the second meeting up to the last meeting, yeah, up to the final, you will watch my YouTube channel, yeah. The materials will be on that with my explanation in Bahasa in Bahasa Indonesia and also in English, yeah. We are going to mix, yeah. You just watch or maybe download it offline and then present that. Jadi absen pertama kasih komen di awal jam berapa kamu download jam berapa nanti ditontonnya offline. Silahkan. 
you may watch offline. And then after that, yeah, after my explanation is end, yeah, with the with the offline video setelah di apa dilihat kemudian give comments again, yeah, and also questions about the material, yeah. Jadi nanti kalian boleh di komen memberikan pertanyaan di situ. Kalau memang penjelasannya memeka ketika di YouTube belum paham. Jadi di komennya dikasih questions. Bu Eka will answer that. Ya, Bu Eka akan chat masuk ke jawabannya. Jawabannya apa-apa. Begitu. Oke. Okay? This one, this is my short explanation. And then, ya, Bu Eka will start the PPT. What are, we, uh, what are we going to learn for one semester? Ya. Jadi nanti satu semester tuh belajar apa? Jadi Bu Eka pertemuannya full hari ini. Jadi jangan menggunakan Google Meet hari ini tak. Jadi ya. Kemudian untuk yang lainnya, you will watch my material. So, what are the materials about? So, we are going to know from here. Bika will present the PowerPoint. Okay, this one. Can you see clearly about the my about the PowerPoint? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yeah, the ELD here. Yeah, this is the abbreviation. Yeah, the ELD is entrepreneurship, leadership, and dakwah. Okay, in Bahasa we can say this is kewirausahaan. Yeah, or sometimes someone say kewiraswastaan. Okay, that is the someone's uh, say. Yeah, okay, jadi orang-orang tuh kadang bilang entrepreneurship itu kewirausahaan bisa, kewiraswastaan juga bisa. And then talking about leadership and Dakwah. This is uh, this material will be in one the combination between leadership and dakwah. Okay, and then what are there in entrepreneurship? Apa yang ada di entrepreneurship and what are there in a leadership and dakwah? And then we are going to know from this slide. Okay, yeah. Jadi this subject includes 16 meetings of course ya. Yeah. Jadi pertemuannya tetap 16 kali. Dan 16 kali itu apa tahu with midterm and final. Jadi midterm and final will be two meetings ya. Yeah. Jadi 14 meetings for the materials of ELD and then one meeting for midterm test, one meeting for final exam. And then all meeting is on online system. The online system use same unisola as usual for your attendance. And then, then Google Meet for a meeting, yeah, on the for today for the Google Meet. And then finally, you will watch my YouTube channel for the materials. It is for, and I will try to give link on the same, yeah, for every materials, every meeting. Okay. And then next. In 16 meeting for the first time, so we will start next week. Yeah, kita akan mulai next week about the first meeting, yeah, for six meetings before before midterm, yeah, they are about kewirausahaan and entrepreneurship. Jadi, uh, kewirausahaan, entrepreneurship, about what are they going to talk, what are what are we going to talk, yang kita bicarakan apa di situ, the kewirausahaan, that is about definition, theories, strength and weaknesses, and character. Jadi, kita akan bicara meaningnya, maknanya, kemudian teorinya, kemudian kelebihan dan kekurangannya dalam kewirausahaan and also characters. Ya, jadi karakter ciri khas kewirausahaan itu seperti apa. And then on the third meeting we talk about entrepreneurship, ethics, functions and principles. Oke, okay, S-nya putih sendiri ya. Jadi birunya enggak keblok tadi. Jadi kewirausahaan, jadi fungsi-fungsinya, ethics-nya, ya, jadi apa etika-etikanya, kemudian fungsi and prinsipnya, principles. And then the fourth meeting will be on Islamic perspectives in entrepreneurship. Ya, jadi perspektif secara islami untuk kewirausahaan itu seperti apa. This is for the fourth meeting. And then next, ya. On the fifth meeting, yeah, you we will learn about human resources management. Okay. So, kalau dalam kewirausahaan kita akan uh, apa itu mengenal namanya human resources. Ya, yeah, jadi ada apa itu sumber daya manusia. 
ya of course itu karena seorang uh, wirausahawan ya itu harus mengenal ini ya how to manage bagaimana mengatur sumber daya manusia ya pastinya nanti seorang wirausaha akan masuk ke pemimpin nah, nanti bagian yang leadership bu Eka akan ajarkan nanti ketika uh, setelah after meeting gitu ya oke okay, and then we come to the sex meeting pertemuan yang keenam adalah about business plan model arrangement and objective Ya, jadi ada rencananya bagaimana, modelnya bisnis bagaimana, bagaimana menyusunnya, and objektif. Dan tujuannya, tujuannya apa toh untuk bisnis itu? Why should we do the business? Ya, kenapa kok orang itu harus bisnis? Ya harus, gitu kan? Kalau orang nggak punya bisnis, terus gimana? Gitu kan? Kita itu harus menjadi businessman and businesswoman, gitu kan? Okay, and then for the seventh meeting, yeah, before the midterm, this is the last material before midterm. There is about starting business, yeah, memulai bisnisnya sudah. Okay, produknya apa? Bagaimana produk and production, yeah, bagaimana produknya dan memproduksinya, gitu ya. And then technology that we use, yeah, to what is it to promote our product, kemudian branding. Kita akan belajar ke sini, gitu ya. Oke, okay, sama-sama belajar. That is not only Bu Eka, ya, yeah, but you and Mameka. We learn together about this. And then, next, ya. Yeah. Midterm. Oke, okay, jadi in midterm nanti setelah kita belajar enam subjek itu tadi, midternya ya termasuk itu, the six materials before, ya, yeah, started from the second meeting up to the seventh meeting. Jadi midterm itu termasuk pertemuan ke-8 gitu ya. Jadi dalam midterm itu nanti akan masuk 6 materi itu. The midterm will be done by online too in a Google Classroom. Ya, jadi nanti online sistemnya kita menggunakan Google Classroom. Jadi untuk tesnya. The online Google Classroom test will be used for models. Jadi nanti ada modelsnya. Jadi Bu Eka pakai bisa multiple choices can be in easy can be by matching yeah matching statement yeah between the two statement on the left and on the right ini ya yeah. oke okay, you have to match yeah the statement and the answer and then the last model will be in true false this is the most easiest way yeah in true false but you need to think and you need to read more about the statement this is true or false okay this is the model And then after the meeting, we will continue to the next material for the named meeting. Jadi bermaksudnya setelah meeting itu adalah pertemuan ke-9. Ya. Jadi pertemuan after meeting itu lebih banyak. Jadi ada 7 ya. Sebenarnya ini termasuk yang ke-7 untuk yang before meeting gitu ya. Tapi ini just introduction dulu. Kemudian hmm, apa itu pertemuan ke-9 talks about definition function and theoretical analysis of leadership. Pertemuan setelah ujian meet ya, kita mulai masuk about uh, leadership fully. Gitu ya. Jadi kita akan talking, discussing about leadership ya, kepemimpinan khusus itu ya. So what is the definition? And then what is the function and how about the theoretical analysis of leadership? Jadi walaupun belajar leadership tetap pakai teori, ya. Jadi tidak tidak asal apa itu membuat definition, tapi tidak ada sumber teorinya, tidak. Ya, we have to find the theory and whose theory is it, ya gitu kan? Kemudian itu teorinya siapa and when uh, did the theory show gitu ya and then or oh, when did the theory publish gitu ya kemudian publik publisnya terbitnya teorinya kapan gitu and then the third meeting is about organization as a leadership ya yeah, jadi uh, seorang pemimpin itu memang hubungannya adalah dengan organisasi ya organisasi itu masuknya kemana ya tadi dari kewirausahaan tadi akan memunculkan leadership Ya, jadi ini nyambung. Jadi wirausaha dulu menjadi usahawan dulu, ya berwirausaha dulu, kemudian baru 
jiwa Anda dari sini akan masuk ke leadership. Nah, jiwanya dari sini, dari organization. Oke, okay, ini masuknya di mana nanti? Oke, okay, we are going to talk that. Oke, okay, and then the 11 meeting will discuss about formal and informal leadership. Oke, okay, seorang pemimpin formal sama informal itu yang bagaimana? Gitu ya. Oke, okay, and then thinking process and classification of leadership. Ya, jadi proses berpikir seorang leadership itu bagaimana and also classification. Ya, jadi golongan-golongan leadership itu golongannya klasifikasinya itu seperti apa? This is on the 12th meeting. Ya, oke, jadi pertemuan ke 12. Kemudian lanjut, ya pertemuan 13, 14 dan 15. 13, 14 and 15. Ya, there are seven materials about leadership after midterm. Ya, jadi yang ke 13 that is about leadership factors and style. Nah, jadi seorang Pemimpin itu banyak faktor, ya faktor-faktor se apa itu kepemimpinan itu banyak sekali. So what are the factors, ya? And how about the style, style gayanya? Gaya seorang pemimpin itu juga banyak, ya. Jadi gaya-gaya kepemimpinan itu banyak, ya. Jadi nanti dari gaya-gaya kepemimpinan, dari faktor-faktor kepemimpinan, nah tugas finalnya, nah jadi kalau yang apa itu mid itu tadi Bu Eka bentuknya adalah bentuk multiple choices, bentuk essay gitu kan. Jadi kalau yang uas nantinya beda. Jadi kalau uasnya nanti kalau sudah belajar leadership factor, sudah belajar leadership styles gitu ya, kemudian akan muncul case tadi gitu ya. Jadi akan belajar case tadi, studi kasus nanti gitu ya. Jadi kasus-kasus kepemimpinan dari siapa, siapa, siapa Nah, kamu nanti mencermatinya gimana Dari berbagai kasus itu Oke, itu untuk uasnya nanti Ya, kemudian The 14 meeting, pertemuan ke-14 Adalah basic consideration Of leadership Ya, jadi pertimbangan Ya, pertimbangan dasar Seorang pemimpin Seorang, kok bisa jadi seorang pemimpin Itu pertimbangannya apa kok Oke, we are going to Talk about this, and then the last, yeah, the last material that is about characteristic and thoughts as effective leadership. Jadi kita akan belajar ini. Seorang pemimpin yang effective, effective leadership itu karas apa itu ciri-cirinya kayak apa? Kemudian apa itu tugas-tugasnya seperti apa? We will discuss on the final meeting. Ya, kita akan bicara di pertemuan akhir. That is about the materials. Oke, okay. this one ya. Jadi sudah mereka sampaikan semuanya mulai dari awal sampai akhir. This is for the nice meeting. I'm going to say thank you. This one I will stop sharing. Okay, students. It is time for me to remind you again. Thank you for watching and don't forget to give your thumb, try to put like, then give comments and also subscribe. Thank you.